Hi, in this video we're going to try and repair this Bush 32 inch TV. This video is kindly sponsored by PCB Way. Get your PCBs, 10 boards from just $5. Why not check out their latest website activity, Icon Solder Kit 2019. Links are in the description below. Now this TV was rescued from the side of the street some time ago now. Um, it's been sitting around and I haven't done a massive amount with it. The symptom is that when you power it up, as we will do there, see we get the red standby light. We should be able to use the buttons to power it on and we get a blue power light. Okay, seems good, but then it goes back to red again. And it basically just sits in this uh, phase where it will then alternate between red and blue. Don't worry that I haven't got the screen connected. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. We're just simply looking at the fact that the board itself just seems to keep power cycling. So of course, first things first, I thought let's check power. Now it's a bit awkward with this board. Um, everything's sort of built in, but I checked what I could and there was no signs of any issues with the power rails. Everything that should be getting the right voltage does seem to be. I'll just turn this off so I don't go poking things and getting a shock. Now, as this was probably sat outside on the street for a while, it did have a fair bit of rust over the tuner card. There was some rust in places on the HDMI ports and the USB ports. Um, I've cleaned that up, uh, both cure rust and uh, just giving it a little uh, sand and white wall, etc. So whether or not those will work, if we can get it working, I don't know. Now, after doing all these various checks, I thought, right, that's it. Turn to Google, try and see if there's any information about what's going on. Searching for the TV didn't really help, but searching for the model of the board. So this is the TP.MSD309.BP710. Now this board can be used for 32 inch, like this is, TV, um, under various uh, different brands, as well as a 40 inch um, TV as well. And uh, under a little Googling, it found out that this chip here is a uh, BIOS chip for the TV. Contains various uh, parameters that the uh, system needs to run. And these chips are known to um, cause some issues. You can get various symptoms such as it being stuck in standby, which certainly mine seems to be, um, or at least it alternates between uh, standby and on, but nothing actually happens on the screen. Uh, you can get channel scanning all the time, uh, picture with funny patterns, colours, no backlight, etc. Now, thankfully, if we pop on eBay, we can actually get a replacement chip. So this is from Microtech AV Services. Um, not an affiliate or anything, uh, just simply went online and purchased this chip from them to give it a go. So this comes with a bit of paper with some various uh, warnings on symptoms. Um, you do need to make sure that the screen number is the same. You'll find that on the back of the screen, which obviously I've got removed at the moment. And so this is uh, marked by them as UF11, SPI flash, SOP8. So this should be fully programmed for this TV. I've already had this chip off once and uh, when I had it off, nothing happened at all. Now that may just be the fact that the chip wasn't there and it won't do anything at all without any connection going through. All that could be helping confirm that the uh, symptom is the uh, chip. So we'll get the board out and we'll get that chip off and replace it and uh, see if we get any better results. Right, I've just applied some gel flux to that or a gel flux that is uh, gone a bit more gooey. Uh, so we're going to heat that chip up and uh, pull that off. Shouldn't be too hard to get off because I've already had it off once and it came off fine. Okay, so that's the chip off. So the next stage now is going to be to get the new one on. Now we noted from that that they had a blue dot on it and that was facing down. Now it has got a dot, where are we? Oh, it's facing up the top, yeah, so we got a dot on the indent on the chip. Sorry, it's not going to focus right there. So that needs to line up with there. So we get the new ship out of the packet, hopefully. 
we have uh, got the right thing and uh, we should be able to get it on there and uh, see what happens. Now before we go ahead and place the new chip on, what I'm actually going to do is use some solder wick. We well, clean up those pads and I think I'll actually put some solder paste down and um, actually do it with that so that we've got a nice fresh solder joint. Alright, so I've gone ahead and cleaned those pads up. Now I'm going to see if I can just get a little bit of solder paste on those pads. Now this is supposed to be left to warm up to room temperature. I wasn't originally planning on using it. So Hopefully that'll be alright. And let's get our new chip and get that placed on. And let's see if we can get that to reflow. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. my usual odd pin or two that's uh, bridged together. So let's uh, get a bit more of this not very gel like flux on there. Well, it's gone dry, I suppose it probably does after a while, I'm not quite sure. Gel flux is supposed to be kept in the fridge or not, so let's get the soldering iron on. And then fingers crossed that maybe I get lucky and uh, it is just a case that this chip has corrupted itself. Alright, just give that a moment to evaporate all of that off and uh, we should get it connected. Okay, the moment of truth. I've got it plugged back in. Again, not with the screen connected. I'm not going to worry about that. First, I just want to see what happens now. So, let's turn it on. We have a red standby light. That's a good sign. Alright, we've got blue. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this doesn't go back to red again. If it goes back to red again, I think that's it for the TV. Well, we're staying blue, and I think that would have switched back to standby by now. Okay, all right. What I'm going to do now is get the screen, get that hooked up, and we will see if we get any picture. All right. Well, I've got it plugged back in, but it is not looking good. Now, what on earth are all of these marks? Very strange. So I'm not sure if this screen has suffered an impact. It doesn't look shattered though, but it's got these very odd marks all over the screen. And uh, yeah, the camera's not going to focus, and it's normal. And yeah, not quite sure what's causing that. The screen without being powered on looks fine. We've also got no on screen controls, nothing is coming up on it at all. So I'm going to reassemble it more or less, and uh, we will get it plugged into an input and just see if anything happens, but I think this may be toast. Okay, so I have gone through and connected up HDMI, tried it in every port, nothing at all. I think those marks on the screen are probably pressure marks, probably been hit or something that's caused some damage. What concerns me slightly is that the, um, I mean obviously the fact it's sat outside means that even these HDMI ports may not work at all. Um, but I couldn't get any sound either, so pressing the button to cycle through the menus, obviously I don't know if it's doing anything apart from just flashing the uh, the power light every time you did it to indicate you've done something, but even with the speakers plugged in there was just no sound at all. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the screen itself has failed, but then if it has, why am I not getting any sound? So is it possible that the actual process has gone in the unit? I don't know. I don't feel like it has because it responds to button presses in the LED does to sort of indicate that you're doing something so I don't feel like the processor is shot. Although I could be wrong or could it just be that that chip isn't going to do the job? I don't know. Weird one. You got any ideas? 
let me know but I think otherwise I think we'll wrap this up and this TV will go to the scrap so yeah that was a shame but was worth trying anyway um, would have been nice if we got away with just replacing that one chip with a new freshly programmed one and uh, having the thing work um, even with the screen damage it wouldn't be really worth much money having damage like that on the screen anyway and it's not a uh, big brand name bush anyway so yeah we'll call it a day on this one I think if anyone's got any ideas drop it in the comments and I'll see you soon for the next video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed cheers guys